Let me tell you something you ain't ever thought about. You ever wondered what happens when a .50 caliber BMG hits flesh? Not just any flesh either, human flesh. You might think it's just a big hole and a whole lot of blood, but nah, it's way worse than that. This here round, it's built to tear through anything. Armored vehicles, thick steel, and human bodies. And when it hits, it's like a freight train running through you. But what really happens inside when that bullet connects? You might be surprised. Stick around, because I'm about to break it down for you. Scientifically, medically, and yeah, graphically. All right, before we get into all the nasty details, we gotta talk about just how much power we're dealing with here. The .50 BMG ain't your average bullet. This bad boy is designed to do one thing, destroy. It's a long-range anti-material round. That's right, material. Whether it's a truck, a tank, or a person, if that round hits, it's game over. Now, this bullet's got some serious speed behind it. When fired, it can reach speeds up to 945 meters per second. That's faster than a speeding car on the highway. In less than a second, it'll tear through flesh and bone like a hot knife through butter. You know what's even scarier? The sheer amount of energy packed inside it. A bullet like that doesn't just make a hole. It sends shockwaves through the body. Think of it like this. This round's got enough power to punch through armor. And when it's hitting the human body, you best believe it's gonna make a mess. Now let's break it down. When that round hits, it don't just punch a hole and move on. Nah. What you're dealing with here is a whole lot of energy coming at you all at once. The second that bullet makes contact, it transfers all that kinetic energy into the body. The result, a shockwave of pressure that moves through the tissues, like a tidal wave through the body. That pressure creates something called cavitation, basically a temporary cavity that forms right where the bullet enters. That cavity expands as the energy moves out, ripping and tearing through everything it touches. And I mean everything. Muscle, fat, organs, bone. It's like a mini explosion inside you. Now, when it exits, it's not just leaving a small hole. Hell no. That exit wound is much larger than the entry. You ever seen a bullet exit the body? If you have, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It leaves a hell of a mess. And it's not just the skin. It's the muscles, bones, everything. You get an exit wound so big, it's like the bullet's trying to punch its way out of the body. Let's get a little deeper into the destruction. Imagine this. Let's say the bullet hits your chest or abdomen. That energy's gonna spread and wreak havoc on everything in its path. If it hits organs like the stomach, intestines, or liver, they get torn apart. And I ain't talking about a little scratch either. We're talking about complete destruction. The stomach's full of acid, right? So when the bullet rips through it, all that acid spills into your abdomen. What does that do? Well, it starts to eat through the tissues around it. That's some serious internal damage. You'd be lucky if you survived the first minute. But here's the kicker. The bullet don't just hit one organ, it keeps going. It rips through arteries, veins, and nerves, causing massive internal bleeding, the kind that leaves you dry within seconds. And the organs? They're shredded, destroyed, liquefied. If you're still alive after that, it's a damn miracle. Now, don't think it stops at the soft tissues. The bullet's got enough force to take out bones too. Your ribs? Gone. Spine? Maybe shattered. If that round hits the spine, whether it's the back or front, it could turn you into a vegetable faster than you can blink. And when I say vegetable, I mean it. If that bullet hits the spine hard enough, there ain't no fixing it. You're paralyzed. Simple as that. You see, the .50 caliber is not just about the immediate damage. It's the long-term effects. You could survive, but your quality of life, gone. Permanent damage. And that ain't just a guess, 
That's real world trauma. Now we gotta talk about something real critical. When that .50 caliber round tears through your body, it don't just hit the muscles and bones. Nah. The big ticket here is the blood vessels. And I'm talking about the big ones. The arteries, veins, and especially that mesenteric artery. This artery is like the highway that feeds your intestines and other vital organs. When a .50 caliber bullet hits it, it's like taking a chainsaw to a fire hose. Blood starts spilling everywhere and fast. That artery runs right out of your aorta, which is the largest artery in your body. And when that gets hit, forget it. You're bleeding out within minutes, maybe seconds. That pressure wave, it don't just mess up the organs, it rips apart the vessels that carry the life-sustaining blood to them. You could lose a liter of blood in less than two minutes, no problem. And when you're bleeding out that fast, there ain't no time to get to a hospital. This ain't a flesh wound you can patch up with a band-aid and keep moving. This is fatal within minutes. Unless you're in a hospital with a surgeon who's got superhuman reflexes, you ain't making it. Now, this next part, it's downright terrifying. You thought the regular .50 caliber round was bad enough, right? Well, hold on, cause there's something far worse. Meet the explosive .50 BMG rounds, like the MK211 with its green tip. You see, this bad boy ain't just about penetration. Nah, it packs an extra punch, a deadly one. When this round hits, it doesn't just pierce you, it explodes once it's inside. Imagine that, a bullet that explodes inside your body. The impact is like setting off a bomb in a confined space. And that confined space, it's your body. You might think a body armor could stop it. Hell, maybe it stops the bullet, but it don't stop the explosion. The pressure wave from that kind of round, it's gonna crush bones, organs, and anything in its path. Think about it, your chest, ribs and organs all expand from that explosive energy. You're not just dealing with a hole in your body anymore. You're dealing with a devastation of internal organs, broken bones, and internal burns. This is the kind of round that makes survival practically impossible. All right, now we get to the real nasty part. You're probably thinking, what happens when a .50 caliber hits the head? Well, the answer ain't pretty. I'm talking about complete destruction, but not just that. You gotta understand the science behind it. See, the human head is made up of bone, tissue, and a whole lot of fluid. A bullet that powerful? It'll obliterate the skull, tear the brain apart, and send shockwaves through the neck. The bullet will crush everything in its path. Everything. And this ain't the stuff you want to see up close, but if you've ever watched a ballistic gel head demo, you get the idea. The bullet enters, and the head doesn't just have a hole, it's turned into a disaster zone. The skull, gone. The brain, turned to mush. There ain't no surviving this. The impact's so violent, it's hard to even put it into words. The only thing left is a mess of tissue, bone, and blood. If someone survives this, it's like a miracle. No two ways about it. But let's say, just for a second, that someone somehow survives this. Plus caliber hit. What does that mean for their future? Not much good, I'll tell you that. You're talking about a lifetime of medical procedures, surgeries, and pain. Even if they don't die instantly, the damage done by a round this powerful is enough to ruin their life. Survivors, if you can even call them that, would have to endure painful, extensive surgeries, reconstruction of shattered bones, severed nerves, and destroyed organs. They'd need round-the-clock care, the kind of care that requires years of rehab. And for what? A fraction of their life back? Nah, in most cases, it's just a slow, painful road to nowhere. It's a life full of pain, dependency, and medical bills. For some, it's a fate worse than death. And that's if they survive long enough to even get to the hospital. Time's always the enemy when it comes to something like this. Now, let's talk about something that most folks might not realize. It ain't just about the human body. 
You see, the .50 BMG doesn't just wreak havoc on people. It's an anti-material round. That means when it hits something, it don't just punch through, it destroys. A .50 caliber round can rip through light vehicles, armor, and even some military-grade equipment. The power behind it is enough to make a Humvee feel like a tin can in front of a freight train. And that's without even talking about the explosive variants like the MK211. When that one hits, it's like taking a bomb to the side of a car. Ever seen a tank get hit with a 50 cal? Well, don't expect it to do much good. Even the most reinforced equipment stands little chance. This round's got the same energy as a car crash, but it's all packed into that tiny bullet. Imagine that power going through metal, and then you, a soft human body, standing in its way. Now, we're gonna talk about something that you don't always think about, the cost. You might be wondering, just how much does it cost to unleash this kind of hell? A single South this caliber BMG round can run anywhere between $3 and $5 a piece, depending on the type. That's right, each round. And that's not even counting the high-tech explosive rounds, which can cost upwards of $10 to $15 each. Doesn't seem like much for a little chunk of metal, right? But don't be fooled. That little round's gonna do more damage in a split second than you could ever imagine. Think about the price for destruction. Five dollars for a bullet, but the damage? Irreplaceable. That's the price of a game changer. All right, now let's look at this from a military standpoint. Why is the .50 caliber BMG such a go-to choice for snipers and soldiers? It's simple, it's reliable. In combat, you need something that's gonna hit hard and stay effective over long distances. The .50 caliber doesn't just have range, it's got accuracy. When a sniper's in the field, they're not always taking short-range shots. They need something that can hit targets at 1,000 yards or more. And let me tell you, A50 caliber can do that without even breaking a sweat. You know what's even crazier? It still packs enough punch to take down a vehicle, disable a turret, or break through the toughest armor. You can bet your last dollar that the guys on the other side know exactly what's coming when that shot rings out. It's the sound of devastation. Now, if you're wondering, is there any way to survive a hit from a 50 caliber? The cold truth is, it's slim. Real slim. A few factors come into play. Location of the shot, the type of ammo used, and, let's be honest here, just dumb luck. If someone survives a 50 caliber hit, it's gonna take some serious medical intervention. And by serious, I mean you better have one hell of a trauma team on standby. The kind of surgeries required? Well, they're not for the faint of heart. You're talking about life-altering procedures, reconstructing organs, repairing shattered bones, and doing everything humanly possible just to keep the person alive. Some folks will walk away from this, sure, but the road to recovery is long, brutal, and filled with pain. Years of rehab, reconstructive surgery, and the mental toll of surviving a wound that should have killed them. This ain't something they forget. In the world of modern warfare, the .50 caliber BMG is a game changer. Whether it's taking down a drone, disabling an enemy vehicle, or clearing a path through obstacles, this round is invaluable. It gives soldiers an edge that no other round can. And when you've got the power to stop vehicles or penetrate armored targets at extreme distances, you're not just fighting with power, you're fighting with precision. That's why it's still a top choice for military snipers long-range units, and even special operations forces. It's not just a bullet. It's a weapon of choice for people who know exactly what it can do. Let me make this crystal clear. When a .50 caliber BMG hits its target, it does its job, and it doesn't care what stands in its way. Whether it's a man, a machine, or anything in between, the result is the same. Total destruction. There's no gray area. No, maybe it'll do this, maybe it'll do that. 
A50 caliber is a guaranteed game changer, and if you ever find yourself in its path, don't expect a happy ending. And the real kicker? No body armor in the world can stop it. No metal, no Kevlar, no protective shields. You want to be safe from a 50 BMG? Don't be in its line of fire in the first place, because once it's fired, the damage is done, and there's no turning back. All right, folks, that's all for today's deep dive into the devastating power of the .50 caliber BMG. We've seen just how much this round can do, from tearing through flesh to shredding vehicles and equipment like it's nothing. If you found this information as fascinating and terrifying as I have, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. You don't want to miss out on the future videos we've got coming. We're just getting started here at Gun Sanctuary. And hey, if you've got a question, or if there's something you want us to cover, leave a comment down below. We read every one of them, and who knows? Your suggestion could be the next video. Also, if you want to support the channel and keep these heavy-hitting videos coming, consider checking out our membership options. It's optional, but trust me, we'd sure appreciate it. Until next time, keep your distance, keep your head down, and stay safe.